right, what's up, YouTube? It's your boy Alvin back with another update on my Achilles injury. If this was your first time here, I appreciate it. Stick around to the end of the video. I'm going to show you some things that I did in my first physical therapy appointment. To give you a quick recap, I ruptured my Achilles playing basketball. And about two weeks after that, I went and saw my surgeon and he gave me the options. And based on what he told me, I decided to go the operation route. That's going to be totally up to you. It's something you ought to decide. Um, to me personally, it does seem like having the surgery gives you a better outcome as far as the rupture. Granted, it may be only like three to five percent, but I'll take any percentage that'll prevent me from going through this again. So, had my surgery on the morning of, you know, the usual things. Depending on when you see a surgeon, mine was rather quick turnaround from the surgeon. Two days later, I had surgery. However, you may find yourself more time. So, that week prior to having surgery, things you're gonna have to do is you're gonna stop taking vitamins, medication, and what you stop consuming whey protein and things of that nature. And then at 12 the night before, they don't want you to drink anything past uh, midnight, other than maybe like if you're on some type of heartburn medication or something like that, they may allow you to take that. You get in there, they're gonna go through the options, they're gonna tell you about a numbing agent that they put in. Uh, just below the knee that's going to help you with your pain afterwards also they're going to give you some pain medicine while you're there and if you know that you have issues with nausea or things like that they can give you a medication for that too so you're not sick after the surgery process and after that initial surgery i was put in a temporary cast for about two and a half weeks and my follow-up with the surgeon after that i will move to the boot and there are four wedges within that boot. I'll put a picture up and show you what they look like. And he told me that each week following that, I can take one out per week until they were all out. And your foot goes from that plantar flexion, flexion position back up to that normal, like kind of 90 degree angle. If you're just sitting in the chair and your foot is on the ground because you want to slowly bring that back up. So a your Achilles has time to heal properly and you also you don't want to stretch your Achilles they have what you call healing long which can cause you a problem with your power when you're trying to flex your ankle so I removed one heel a week after that I went to my next follow-up and he scheduled me for physical therapy upon jumping into physical therapy they're going to help you begin to bring that strength back and this is that beginning process to kind of getting on the road to recovery. At two months out, you're gonna be tight. Um, it's gonna feel weird. You're gonna have some weakness in your foot, in your calf muscle, because when you're anytime you're not using a muscle, it's going to shrink. And as you begin to start to use it, you're going to feel soreness throughout this process from the time you have surgery to the time you get to that secondary follow-up appointment the doc is going to want to make sure that your wound is completely healed wounds can get infected some things that could possibly happen just so you know like in my foot a little blood that got in the bottom of my foot the doctor told me that's normal that's from the surgery because sometimes some of that blood just kind of drips down and if you see that don't be too alarmed but anytime that you have a lot of stinging and maybe any kind of discharge coming from that incision that's something that you want to get checked out right away because the biggest side effect from surgery which is why people are hesitant on doing it is a uh, possibility of infection so at my first appointment they put me through several exercises initially they warmed up my Achilles and kind of my whole leg gave me a band and had me just kind of hold and pull it my foot back towards me and this is something that you may experience as well once you get to that point and they want to warm up the Achilles first before you just jump right into stretching it out uh, I didn't want to record him while he was doing it but he also grabbed my foot and kind of pulled it back towards me gently but to kind of give it also give it that stretch and then from there he took me through several exercises all with the goal of just strengthening it and one thing I couldn't capture he also had me uh, lean against the ball on the wall and just kind of slightly squat down a little bit 
just to kind of develop that strength and range of motion. And once I went through all those things, he told me when I follow up, um, I could possibly be coming out of the boot. So coming out of the boot for me personally is at week 10. However, there are varying people who experience. Some people come out at week 8. Some people come out at week 12. Some people are coming out at week 16. Don't necessarily judge your, judge your progress by what you see online and what other people are doing. Because like I said, it can significantly vary from where you are in the country, from where you are in the world. And different doctors have different perspectives on this process, especially if you want op versus non-op. Now, as far as this, everything else goes, whatever you do, make sure you just, you know, take your time, any concerns that you have, talk to your surgeon, and make sure that you continue to follow me because I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to bring you more updates on this whole process and how it goes. Because if you're anything like me, as soon as this happened, I started searching YouTube, searching online, looking for information so I can make the best decisions and make sure I do the right thing because the thing that you definitely don't want to do is be in the re-rupture category. So continue to follow me, subscribe, like. If you got any comments, please drop them down below. I'll make sure to answer them and I'll be back with you soon. Take it easy.